welcome back to Forza Horizon 4. It is another week in the lovely United Kingdom, and with it comes a brand new car for us to go and unlock. Well, I mean, I, I say we're unlocking a car. It's more like it's a land yacht. This is the Bentley Turbo R. All we gotta do is a season event to unlock it, but as per usual, before we get into that Forzathon shop for the week, oh, I guess with that disappointment out of the way, let's go unlock the Bentley Turbo R. A solid seven minutes later, Audi across the line, thank you. The sun never sets completed three stars across the board. And just like that, the Bentley Turbo R is officially ours. Let's go. This is the Bentley Turbo R. It's got 330 horsepower, actually more than it's supposed to have in real life. It weighs 5,000 pounds though. It's not exactly the fastest car in the world. That's for sure. Actually, what class is it in? Yo, it's actually in C-Class already? Okay, that gives me a lot of room for upgrading when we come back to that. That is not bad at all. Anyways, you know what? Let's not waste too much time driving it around. Let's go immediately and jump into a race. Anyways, I would be lying if I said I didn't have any fun facts about this thing. As it turns out, the Bentley Turbo R is actually a super super interesting car. For example, did you know that this car actually has two horns? Here we go, number one, and number two. For those of you who don't know, Bentley Turbo R, right, sounds like it would be the best Bentley that they make. Well, it turns out they made a lot of Bentley Turbo R's and a bunch of different versions of them. Bentley actually made one called the Bentley Turbo RT. That one apparently had like 400 horsepower, used F1 technology. That wasn't even the best one. There was a Bentley Turbo RT. I want to get this right. Mulliner? I believe is how you pronounce it. That was the fastest version out there. It had, I'm not even joking. 420 horsepower, nearly 700 foot-pounds of torque, and best of all, because you were so rich to buy this Bentley, you had a speedometer on the back seat. So when your chauffeur ripped it around, you could go, ah, uh, thank you for hitting 150 miles an hour. In terms of Forza Horizon 4, it's actually not that bad. It slides pretty well through the corners. And in terms of its racing ability, it's actually not that slow. I think with a little bit of weight reduction, depending on how much weight we can remove from this thing, we might actually have a pretty good car on our hand. It's not every day you have a race car with a wooden dash on it. Love it. I'm gonna say, awesome first impression Bentley Turbo R. Not as slow as I thought it would be, Let's head back to the festival though. What can we do with the customization? We've got our stock engine, 330 horsepower, a 6.2 liter V8, my go-to engine. Thank you very much. 5.2 liter V10 and a 6.5 liter V12. I want my first build to be a race car build. So if I'm going with race car driving in mind, I think I honestly want to go with the V10. Let's go with that 600 horsepower. This is from a Lamborghini Huracan slash Audi R8. So I guess you can never go wrong with that. I'm going to go out on a limb. I'm going to ruin the look of the car. Rear wing on the Bentley. If you're a millionaire and you buy this, it's simply to keep your luggage as safe as possible. Engine spacers on the big old Bentley. Ah, oh, you could have definitely given me an extra inch or two, but... I will gladly take it. And we've been demonetized. Fantastic. Drivetrain, thank you. We will upgrade all of this stuff. There we go, up into S1 class already. Anyways, and then the thing we needed the most, weight reduction. We're 5,100 pounds for the moment. Weight reduction it down. Yo, 1,200 pounds gone. And then, hey, we've got a couple more PI points to work with, so... Let's get those guys added on and we'll be all good. Ah, uh, we're back up to 4,000 pounds because we swapped that all-wheel drive in. 
but we've got a thousand one hundred horsepower. That's crazy. A nice little British racing green on the Bentley. It's very difficult to paint a car like this and have it look nice, but I think that's not too bad. We'll just tint up the windows so people can't see inside of our fishbowl. How is this sound with the Lamborghini Huracan engine in it now? That's the most stupid sounding car in the world. You know what I'm noticing though? It's actually pretty agile and pretty nippy, especially with that all wheel drive. I don't know why I'm racing against a formula drift car, but away we go. Let's see what the big old Bentley has in store. I've just got to kind of just push everybody out of the way. Out of the way. Okay. Okay. And up the inside we go. All the AI is all over the place. There we go. Find the little gap. Oh, uh, what a beast of a vehicle. It is so fast. That was almost 200 miles an hour right there. At the end of the day, yeah, it still weighs 4,000 plus pounds. So it's not going to be the nicest thing to take through the corners. But it's not as bad as you think it would be. This is a speedboat. Things I definitely didn't expect to be saying. I am winning a race in the Bentley Turbo Arlandion. The craziest part though, is it's actually pretty easy to drive. Like what? Yes, sir. I'd like to drive you around quite quickly. I will be honest. I came into this today prepared to absolutely make fun of the Bentley Turbo R for the next 10 minutes or so. As it turns out, it's absolutely incredible. What? You know what? I, I'm even going to share that tune because it's actually a pretty good one for the first time in my life. If you guys want to download my tune, it's called Race-ish. <laughs> and you guys can give it a go. That went significantly better than I thought it would. However, can the Bentley do something a little bit out of its territory? I have absolutely no idea. But I think it would be a fun thing to figure out. You know what? If we're gonna go rally racing, give me some rally-inspired ribs. There we go. That is a proper beastly Bentley now. <laughs> Everybody in Twitch chat is telling me I need to use the stock engine for some reason. Okay, I mean, we can give it a go. I don't even have close to the max amount of horsepower you could have in this. But we've got 540 horsepower, right? But more importantly, 740 foot-pounds of torque. That is insane. A Bentley off-road monster. Do we have what it takes to be the ultimate super saloon off-road boy? Pro probably not, but come on, lads. Y'all need to get out of my way. I'm land yachting over here. Look at this. Up the inside past the pink M3. <laughs> What are we doing? Yeah, how, how is this Bentley so fast? Keep in mind, this is the stock engine for the Bentley from 1992. And I've just ripped it past everybody. <laughs> That's insane. What a car. You need to give this a go because it'll definitely surprise you. Look at it go. Ripping the handbrake through the corners, getting close to the trees. Not to mention... This engine also sounds amazing. Like, what a vehicle. I'm doing jump drifts in a Bentley. What is going on? I genuinely can't even see the AI behind me. I'm on the hardest difficulty. And I'm absolutely flying away. I think we can all agree when we heard the Bentley Turbo R was coming to Forza Horizon 4, I guarantee every single one of us was like, that is going to be the worst car in the update 26. As it turns out, this might be the best car of the bunch. 11 seconds slower than me, the AI is. What are you guys, what are you guys doing? As I was saying, I have one more thing I want to do to this car. We're going to go back to rear wheel drive. I think you can see where this is going. If you ever wanted to play GTA in Forza Horizon 4, I got the perfect car for you. After all of our upgrades, 1,500 horsepower Bentley. Oh boy. That is so goddamn good. 90s gangster. Yes, let's go. And suddenly I take all of my previous statements back. I'm 
so sorry. Let's go into Edinburgh. Come on, Bentley. Snap the boy in. Keep in mind, this is rear wheel drive. This is just sheer long boy, long wheelbase with all the horsepower you could... Somebody's like, imagine getting picked up by this car as an Uber. Oh man, imagine. You'd be like, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. It'd be the coolest Uber ride ever. A little bit on the dangerous side. Oh my God, it is so absolute. Oh my God. That is so many points. For God's sake. How is it that the one thing I thought this car would be good at it's terrible at. Just please make it through the drift zone without spinning out. That would be great for me. This is a lot of annoying revving, I've got to say. There's 100k. Not bad. 120, 130, 140, 150. That's ridiculous. 166,000 points in a rear-wheel drive Bentley land yacht. On that terrible disappointment though, that is the Bentley Turbo R in Forza Horizon 4. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Next week, we've got the Jaguar I-Pace, one of my personal favorites. Subscribe if you wanna see that. I'll see you guys then.